What's good, people? Agent Juice reporting for duty. Welcome back to another riveting edition to Drawing Inspiration, where today I shall be speed painting Gretzko from the Netflix series A Gretzko. But before getting into the meat of this nonsense, I shall first quickly go over my drawing process. For this particular pick, you're going to see me utilize the symmetry ruler in Clip Studio Pro. And if I were going to lie to you people, I'd say that I'm doing this as a stylistic choice in order to render an image that has a mirror-like effect as a means of creating a metaphor for the mirror life that Retzko lives, separating her day living as a meek accountant and her nightlife as a raging death metal vocalist. But I won't lie to you, because I'm nice like that. No, I'm doing this symmetry crap because I'm lazy, and this allows me to literally cut the workload in half. Teehee, I am so clever. So, with all of that out of the way, let's get on with the video, shall we? Gretzko is a series I enjoy on a different level from other cartoons that I watch. While there are a good handful of shows that are near and dear to my heart, and that I have a great emotional attachment toward, Gretzko is actually not one of them. So why the hell am I even talking about it if I don't greatly enjoy it? Because I enjoy it less as an emotionally engaging masterpiece, and more as a nice, chill, and comfy show. Yes, I enjoy Gretzko as a show not because of some deeper meaning nonsense, or because I get a surging sense of excitement or joy from it, but because it's a very nice and calm and mellow show to watch. Well, sort of. Yes, I watch the show in general to get a peaceful slice of life vibe from it, specifically from a lot of the side characters and side plots revolving around, you know, normal corporate work life. That being said, the main character Retzko is one of the few points in the show that I get more of the aforementioned engaging a sense of excitement. What exactly does she provide that the rest of the show does not? The death metal, of course. I find the whole idea of a mousy put-upon accountant venting her frustrations through throat-ripping death metal karaoke to be hilarious. I mean, there are so many of her problems that could be solved, or at the very least mitigated, if she just practiced more confident assertiveness like her friends Gori and Washimi, for example. But why confront your problems when you could just repress them until they burst out of your mouth in a fiery torrent of screaming doom? Because, weirdos, if she had the confidence to just up and solve her problems, we wouldn't have a show. Now, Retzko is a character that I wish to draw inspiration from because she possesses a trait that I admire and that I've covered before in earlier installments of this series and have played around with myself in my own character creation. The Inner Darkness. Now I admit that the Inner Darkness is a rather edgy way of describing what I'm talking about, but bear with me for now. Retzko's inner darkness is very apparent. She is a stressed individual with a deep well of turmoil that manifests itself in a bombastic and visceral way, which is her death metal karaoke. But it's not just the run-of-the-mill karaoke we're dealing with here. We get the whole nine yards, but with the glowing eyes, the vicious teeth and claws, the fire effects and the gleaming rage kanji on her forehead, you can almost think of it as like uh, going into the Avatar state, but with less bending and more screaming. Okay, it's nothing like the Avatar state, but I think you fools are picking up what I'm putting down. Anyway, characters with that tormented side to them always appeal to me because it gives us multiple layers of their personality and their story. And as I always say, the most interesting characters on screen are the ones with the most conflict going on. So even though the show and lifestyle around Retzko is rather tepid in some cases, deep down in her stressed out little heart is the roiling black ichor of fire and fury just waiting for its chance to once again manifest as the raging screams of metal. So what can I draw from Retzko and her crazy double life? I've mentioned both that she has the inner darkness trait that I love in many characters, and that doesn't really make her unique though. I've mentioned that her show is a calm and comfy thing to watch, but that doesn't deeply engage me as other shows have. What then does it have to offer? Well, simply put, it's both of those traits in tandem. It's a comfy show starring a character with inner darkness. That in of itself is enough to draw me in and get me to learn from it. It's a clever little genre blend that yields a satisfactory plot with a funny as hell character to observe in action. For you see, within all of us is a stubby little red panda in a stressful corporate cubicle job with a slave driving bus and an overbearing mother that slowly erodes our fragile sanity until it leaves us with no other recourse than to let out our festering mental illness as a shrieking tidal wave of emotional destruction at a local karaoke bar that probably should have cut off the alcohol about three hours prior. And I guess that's what I want to learn from Ogretzko, to blend two different worlds and to show how a character lives a double life and uses said double life as a means of patchwork jury-rigged high-octane therapy. So with that said, I believe I'll wrap it up here. 
You folks know the drill. Go ahead and thwack the living heckity heck out of that like button if you enjoy the video. And by all means, leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I'm curious to what you have to say, and comments always help the channel out in the algorithm. Also, if this kind of crap amuses you and you wish to see more, go ahead and punish the subscribe button and the dingity donger bell over there so you can continue to partake in the nonsense. And as usual, I'll go ahead and link my social media links in the description box down below if you wish to join along elsewhere. And with all of that finally said, I thank you for spending this time with me. I hope you all stick around, and until next time, oh deuces.